It's the NFL Draft. The Chicago Bears are on the clock. Round one, pick one. It's Caleb Williams, of course. Do we expect anyone different? But Brock Bowers with our second pick. Now, that's nice. And then finishing up with Brian Thomas Jr. We got some weapons out here. Got some dudes. But the free agent pickup of King Sponge at quarterback, the 64 overall backup to Caleb Williams, is pivotal. We had a chance with the Vikings to get a job, but nope, threw too many picks, got cut. The UFL gave us a second chance. We won a championship, and now we're here. The only problem is that we were a free agent pickup by the Chicago Bears who already have Caleb Williams. But first things first, let's worry about keeping our job by playing well in this first preseason game. Caleb Williams only going to go the first quarter in preseason game number one. He's connecting early with Keenan Allen. And just like that, he finds Keenan Allen for six. It feels kind of funny to say this, but the Bears are low-key loaded going into the next season. So Brock Bowers sold me on my first ever drive, but let's go back out to him. Maybe we can get a little rapport building. And it's a beautiful moment because that was our first completion as a Chicago Bear. A couple years in the making and a couple stints in the UFL has finally led us to this opportunity. The Chicago Bears gave us a chance as a free agent pickup. Now is our opportunity to prove exactly why we belong. Definitely not expecting to be the starter in year one here or for a little while. I just want to win the backup job. And we can do that with a dime to Brock Bowers. Come on now, King Sponge to Brock. I feel much improved than our first stint with the Vikings. That's all them UFL reps paying off. Just gonna play one more quarter here before we go to the third string, and man, oh man, I like Brock Bowers. Within the five, I'm gonna go with the read option, hand off to Herbert, that's six. Encouraging look from King Sponge in a week one victory against the Raiders. We gotta get all the momentum on our side. Week two in the preseason on the road against Cleveland and welcome to the show, Caleb Williams. Already facing pressure from Miles Garrett. You can definitely tell that Caleb Williams is growing fond of Keenan Allen and that's a big pickup by the Bears. Caleb Williams had to give Keenan Allen a bag and a new car just to get that number. And honestly, not a bad way to finish your week two preseason performance with a little touchdown to Keenan Allen. And man, I like this. With the second quarter winding down, we got a chance to run it back with some of the ones in DJ Moore. King Sponge making the most of his opportunity here, throws a slant to DJ Moore for the touchdown. It was a decent showing for King Sponge in week two, efficient with his few drives, got the one touchdown, but we handed it off to Tyler for the rest. Bears pull through 14-7 in week two of preseason. Coaching staff's already declared that Caleb Williams will be the week one starter, so they're giving King Sponge practically the whole game to cook and we find a wide open Komet. Love to see it. This is truly our time to win the backup job and that handoff, what a run. I have got to play out of my mind because this could be the last in-game action I see all year. So let's make the most win the backup job. It's truly an honor to run it back with the ones out here right now. And I'm gonna hit DeAndre Swift in the backfield. Couldn't finish there, but I'm sure he can finish now. There he is. That's how you finish. Oh no, oh no. We go down awkward and hurt ourselves on that read option. And a sigh of relief, we're back in the second quarter, just had to sit out for a drive. King Sponge in the rain finds a wide open DJ Moore. So he may only be a 64 right now, but I believe we can play much better than that. And when you got guys like Keenan Allen, it's money. This feels like a little throwback to college, read option, I spin, and it's clearly not enough. We are, however, throwing that ball on a rope. Making sure to spread the love, because that's what we do out here. We make sure everyone eats. Dropping back once more. Let's scramble it out. It looks like Brock Bowers open in the end zone. We find him. That is our dude right there. Rookie to rookie connection. Coach has seen enough. The Bears have officially decided to go with King Sponge as their backup quarterback. I mean, check that out. That's a clean game right there. 17 for 26, 236, and two touchdowns. So I hope you enjoyed gameplay because you're probably not going to see me on the field again until the next year. Sponge has officially done something he's never been able to do. Make the regular season roster of an NFL team. I mean, shoot, was Justin Fields even the problem for the Chicago Bears? It's definitely going to be interesting to see how the Caleb Williams show goes. Oh my goodness, Chicago choked a three touchdown lead in week one. The Rams come storming back and Caleb Williams couldn't do anything with that cushion. Caleb Williams out here, 184 passing yards, two touchdowns and two ends in his debut. I mean, dude, come on, King Sponge would never. Uh, brother, what's going on? Two and five for the Chicago Bears. We lost 31 to three to the Texans last week. Caleb Williams, you good, man? So who's gonna explain this? 32nd in the league. That's the worst in offensive passing yards per game with Caleb Williams. Williams? And with all these new weapons? I mean, just scrolling through the last few weeks, man's not throwing more than 200 passing yards in a single game, it looks like. End of your recap, them boys fall short to the Kansas City Chiefs who win yet another Super Bowl. Even though the Bears had the worst offense in the league last year, they went with a defensive player with the first pick. Princely's definitely a stud, nothing against him, but... 
The offense is going to need some work or Caleb Williams or King Sponge just going to have to step up their game. Despite the Bears going 5-12 and 12 in year one, they're up to an 87 overall at the start of year two. Not sure if something's in the water, but they're thinking that the Bears will do big things this year. King Sponge couldn't keep it himself, but no worries. We'll shake it off with the two-minute drill here and do what Caleb Williams couldn't score for the team and get us right back in this game fourth quarter action the bears are on the board after a rushing touchdown from brock bowers but we're back in the air fumble ruski oh man king sponge for the most part pretty efficient with his clip 75 percent gonna go across yep we got him all day year two preseason is extremely important for us we're playing like we can still win the job winners always have that mentality we ain't counting ourselves out just because there's a guy named caleb williams on the team and if we can strike with our second stringers out here, our team is going to be impressed because look at that touchdown. King Sponge dialed up a ball, and I guess our defense did their best. We got, like, no time left and a chance to drive and score. Down by six. We're looking for a little bit of preseason heroics, and I might have a guy. I totally forgot this wasn't college, and we have no timeout, so we have to make this strike count. And it's going to clock winding down. Totally hurt us. But oh my goodness, how did that work? You are seeing that right. King Sponge heroics in preseason week one. Cole Komet comes back for it, fights for it, touchdown. We're going to win. I didn't have an initial reaction because I thought that was a dangerous pass, just tossing it up there. Justin Fields, not too hot. You see the scoreboard behind Caleb Williams correctly. It's 21-0. Ravens taking care of business in the first half. Caleb was able to muster up one touchdown for us, but I'm going to do what I do best, mop up duty and my typical QB play. Check me out. Tyler Scott, special delivery, my friend. Working my way down towards the red zone. We can come up big here, and we do. Cole Komet, King's Punch, been working hard in the offseason, finds Rashawn Johnson. We're all tied up. It's fourth down game on the line right here, right now, looking for someone, and we have a wide open receiver. How did he get so sprung free? Touchdown, King King Sponge, the hero, strikes. Unbelievable. That's two weeks in a row now King Sponge has delivered up potentially the game winner. Bombs away to Tyler Scott. Caleb Williams is trembling on the sidelines. This is insane QB play. Well, that was short-lived. The defense went ahead and choked it, so we lose the game, but that does not take away from the performance King Sponge just had. Final week of preseason up in Indianapolis for this one. I was wondering when coach would put us in. It's the fourth quarter and we finally get an action here. Caleb Williams was only able to muster up nine points and even worse, we're losing, but it's okay. I can play hero. I don't mind that role at all. Just going to take the sure thing. Hand off to Roshan. Finish this off, my man. Caleb Williams probably going to get the starting role in week one. I expect nothing different, but we had one heck of a preseason. On third down, with less than a minute king sponge only needed a first down to officially ice this game and he finds his receiver slipping through the cracks caleb williams is going to start again in year two but we definitely deserve the accolade for best preseason player of the year let's keep pumping strong arm as in year two we've been hitting the gym hard we're already up to 71 overall time to flex in the vikings and man i wish i was qb for this game two years in the books is it something with chicago is it a caleb williams thing not that great of a year 2500 yards and 16 touchdowns in 17 weeks of nfl football that's less than one touchdown per game and it's super confusing to me because the bears go six and 11 in year two with kale williams in an 88 overall team am i missing something here all i know is king sponge is getting a little antsy here he's up to 76 overall through two years of professional nfl football he's doing all the right things in the film room in the weight room man would be a serviceable quarterback on a handful of teams 2025 recap tampa bay gets the dub in the super bowl over the jacksonville jaguars hoping to turn the tide in year three 2026 I want to start somewhere, even if it means I have to get traded. In the NFL draft in round one, the Bears choose Zachariah Branch as their receiver of choice. The USC receiver should be reuniting with Caleb Williams, which that might spell bad news for us. I guess we just love playing the Colts in the preseason as this is the third year in a row, I believe. Caleb Williams scored in a couple touchdowns in this one, so he did his part, and now it's my turn to do my part. First scrambling touchdown. Hey, jot it down. Two-minute drill here. The defense gave up points, which is unfortunate, but that's an opportunity for King Sponge to take his time, find the right guy, and move down the field. It literally feels like we're out here with third stringers right now, but we'll make it work. We got the field goal, but the Colts also were able to drive down the field and get a field goal of their own, so... 
I guess that means it ends in a draw in week one. 24-24, no OT football here. Final week of preseason going up against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh no, you hate to see it. The injury timeout. Oh no, you hate to see it. Caleb Williams got injured on the sideline. The injury did not look good. We'll know more after the game, but he was clearly frustrated on the sideline. So we're gonna have to step in. And King Sponge is always ready to step in and take on a challenge just like that. Touchdown, baby. All right, I spoke too soon, but that touchdown at the one yard line will cap it off. Down 35 to seven. Yeah, the game's over, but I'm just playing for pride. Just trying to get my name on the map. Final reps of preseason count all the same when it matters for the coaches and their decisions. So Chiefs do what they usually do, get the dub, but it's preseason and it's all wrapped up. I think we had a pretty solid preseason in year three. If Caleb Williams didn't go down with that injury, we'd probably be on the bench, but now it's questionable. Will he be ready for week one? Coach just broke the news at the press conference. Caleb Williams is ruled out for week one. He's dealing with just a sprain, so it's not as bad as we thought, but they're gonna err on the side of caution. And if I'm being honest, Caleb Williams hasn't been that impressive through his first two years. So you don't gotta tell King Sponge twice about opportunity. So our first regular season action winning the job, I guess you could say, by injury but it's gonna allow us to face the Carolina Panthers and Bryce Young. Bryce Young trying to improve year after year, but King Sponge over here is just looking to secure the job. Trust me, we've seen the passing numbers from the last couple of years, and it's not that impressive. Let's shake off any nerves and just let one rip. Cross the middle, yep, that's Komet again. We can rely on the big tight end. Moving down pretty quickly, DJ Moore looks open and we got him. Touchdown, our first drive of the game, we connect with DJ Moore. Can you tell King Sponge has been waiting three years for this opportunity? After two years in the UFL, two years playing backup, we have a crack at the starting job if we do well today. Defense gives up a touchdown, but we hold on the extra point attempt. Look at that. That's Branch out there. The USC receiver we just drafted, and I'm going to hit him up. Little RPO. Brian Thomas from LSU holds on for the quick drag touchdown. Another costly turnover for Carolina gives us the ball right back in a good position, and I got a man. Hold on now, who told King Sponge he can cook like this? Touchdown, DeAndre Swift. Inside the red zone now, let's dump it out to Brian Thomas once more. Love to see a shaking three tackles and a touchdown. Are you kidding me? My guy out here making King Sponge look good. We came into the league with this man. Wow, okay, coach taking off the training wheels. It's fourth down. He's showing a lot of trust in us. We can deliver by this pass across the middle. That's DJ Moore. Could not have asked for a better regular season debut for King Sponge as DeAndre Swift just pads it on. Bears fans love it. King Sponge loves it. What's not to love right now? Who would have thought the same year the Chicago Bears draft Caleb Williams with round one pick one that a free agent quarterback, King Sponge from the UFL, is going to be the one that's turning a leaf and starting a new chapter for Chicago. Caleb Williams had two losing seasons and in year three, we're 1-0 and with King Sponge at the helm. Coach is going to have a hard decision on his hands, but we completed 79% of our passes, 295 yards and three touchdowns. Coach after the game talked with DJ Moore in the locker room and he wanted to just get word on how it felt with King Sponge out there. There. That was all coach needed to hear. He's riding with us again for week two. And in conjunction, they're putting Caleb Williams on the injured list for at least two more games. We fought for the job. And finally, in year three, we got our chance. And the job is ours due to unfortunate injury to Caleb Williams. But a job is a job. And we're going to keep riding it out throughout the season. If you soaked up this video and like the content that you see on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling kind while you're there, hit that like button and drop a comment. And I'll see you all in the next one.